to do to y'all it's Remy now today I just wanted to talk about something that a lot of people have problems with even myself had problems with and I ended up overcoming it but um if if somebody doesn't want to be in your life and they made it clear that they don't want to be in your life don't don't try to hold on to them don't try to fight for their attention or their love don't try to make them care if somebody doesn't want to be in your life you need to let them go because the more you stress on that one person the more you're hurting yourself now I went through this before there was this one person he made it clear he didn't want to be with me he made it clear he didn't want to be around me he didn't want nothing to do with me and I was ignorant and I was just I thought it was something I did now if somebody don't if somebody does not want to be in your life do not blame yourself it's not your fault. It is not. They just, they don't want to be. They don't want you to be in their life. Then let them go, because it is what it is. There is a reason that they get left out your life. There is a reason, and it's not your fault. You're gonna find somebody way better. You're gonna find people to replace that slot, that empty. If you have an empty feeling when they left you, or when they said they don't want to be in your, they don't want you in your life. That means th that the universe, the universe is making space, making space for fucking fly. The universe is making space for somebody else to come in your life who is better and who will benefit you because you did not need them. They was unhealthy and toxic. So if somebody didn't want to be in your life, let them go. Simple. And it's okay, it's okay to be sad for a little while. It's okay to, like, be in your feelings or whatever, like, don't, don't let it bring you down. Just, just don't live in the past. After you done being sad, after you done with your sad stuff, boss up. Simple, boss up. Because life, this physical, this physical experience is way too short for you to be sad over one person. There are 7.8 billion people in this entire world, and you're worried about one person. It ain't it. It ain't worth your time. Now, for me, if somebody don't want to be in my life, no matter how far back we went, no matter how long we've known each other, no, none of that. If you don't want to be in my life, then go. I'm not, it, it's not, no. There's reasons you don't do that. If you, if you still have, like, a, a soft spot for somebody, <laughs> get rid of it. Because, like, you can't just be hot spot in your love or your care like it ain't worth it you can't just be hot spot in your stuff it can't be a one-sided relationship because that's draining you from your energy that's draining you your heart your time you're wasting it it's just draining you and you do not need people in your life like that you need people in your life who care about you who love you who will never leave you you need people by your side like that but like I said, if they don't want to be in your life, let them leave. <laughs> They're lost. Because honestly, you are amazing. You are an amazing person. And they just couldn't realize it. They couldn't see it. It was blind. <laughs> Gotta go get some glasses. Because, like I say all the time, it is what it is. Man. I know a lot of people, though, who still holding on to stuff from, like, three years ago. And that's crazy. I try. I try to help them. They don't want to listen to my advice. Because they stuck in this mindset that, oh, they left me because I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough for them. I, I have to change myself. No. Don't change yourself for anybody. Do not change yourself to try to amount to somebody else's, um, to somebody else's type or likings. You are your own person. You need to learn how to love yourself before anybody else. Because, like I said before, on your deathbed, it's not them taking the last breath. It is you. It's you. Focus on yourself. Simple. Don't stress. Don't stress over... Do not do not stress over ignorant people. I hate... I hate seeing, like, my my homegirls getting um beating themselves up over a dude who didn't want them for a dude who didn't even treat them correctly for a dude 
that they spent so much time and dedication on for them to just walk out the door. I hate watching them beat themselves up over that, thinking they're not good enough and stuff, trying to change themselves, covering their faces in makeup, over here stalking them on on social media, trying to see what they're up to. But, like, that breakup or that relationship type stuff, that's for another video, and I'm, a, I'm probably going to drop that today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I just wanted y'all to know that because... Even if I don't know you, I do care. I care about everybody. I really do. And I want everybody to do their best. I want to see everybody succeed. I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody stuck in a certain place. Now, and I'm going to be talking about angel numbers soon too. 9-11. <laughs> that was the angel number that I saw when, when I let that one person go. Once I let him go, ooh. That's the first number I saw. I looked up at my time, 9-11. Ever since then, I've been doing great. I'm, I'm glowing, like, can you see? Can you see me? But that's all I have to lay on y'all for right now. If y'all enjoyed the video, please like and share it, maybe. Try to help some more people out in this world, because it's crazy. It's a cruel world out here, and I, I really hate to see people hurt and going through stuff. They mental, they feel like they have nobody to talk to. I hate seeing that. So, yeah, that's all I got for y'all right now. Uh, I'll catch y'all on the fly. Peace out.